So we have the mutation rate is 1 on top of 10 million, and the genome size is 5 million. Five, uh, this is mutation rate. And that's the genome size. And so this is for one large location, that's how many mutations we have. How many mutations we have will be 1, uh, 5 out of 10. Point five. Point five mutation. Point five mutation per replication. Okay, so when, when the genome uh, is replicated once, of re replication. When the genome is replicated once, is point five mutation and. How many replications do we need to get a single point mutation? Basically, one divided by 0 0.5 to two, two replications. <laughs> so it's kind of a. So, what is the two? Two Less. replications. Is that replications in the entire chromosome? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the entire two. genome, right? So, the bacterial genome is circular. We replicate once have uh, half of mutation, and if we want to get one, uh, one mutation, they send it to replicate twice. It's actually pretty. Uh, once you think through it, quite straightforward. Uh, this is a complementation question. So let's say someone, uh, uh, some graduate student, isolated a form mutant. Uh, so they are form mutant, and this is how they complement uh, each other. So. One and two is the wild type, <coughs> one three is the wild type, one four is the wild type. Two and three, that's still a mutant. Two and four is the wild type, three and four is the wild type. And which statement is consistent with this result? There are two genes mutant, the two and three contain defect on the well, why, why don't you, again, work out on the same paper? Uh, One and mutant two, they complement each other. That means uh, they are not on the same team. So, uh, let's say we have a, I mean, a four, maximum four mutation, and right? so we have a, uh, I show that this with a, uh, one. <coughs> the one possibility is this. Uh, well, the other possibility can be seen one, G two. They are all on the same gene. If they are, if gene one, uh, mutation one and mutation two affect the same gene, and uh, we put these two mutations together, they still get to the, this gene can still have a mutation. It's still uh, dysfunctional, so 
we will not see a wild type. If one and two put together is a wild type, that means one and two are not on the same. Oh. So, so we know one mutant one is on the same gene from <coughs> mutant two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. right, so, and then uh, mutant two, we know mutant two is different from mutant four, but mutant the two and three when they put together they are still a mutant, which means uh, mutant. One three should be on the same gene. This is because if we, if we put a mutant two uh, gene, like number two mutation, and then we put another gene, number three mutation, you have two bad uh, copies, they are still a bad copy. This gene is still defective. That's a complementation. There, there will still be a mutant. So two and three are the same gene. Uh, two and three the same thing and number four number four and three are different so we have we should have a first look for three genes <coughs> this is three genes this is three genes you can one and four and then you can send it last from two and three so let's see different genes, and you can also look at number four. Number four is different from number one, it's different from number two, it's different from number three. So number four is also different. Okay. So this is number one. Number one is different from two, three, four. Number four is different from one, two, and three. Okay. So we know one and four are different genes, but two and three are not. So two, uh, number three is different from one. Uh, uh, number three is different from one, but it's the same from number two. Uh, this is really interesting. <laughs> it's almost like a puzzle put all the pieces <laughs> together. Yeah. Uh, almost like puzzle. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this is another question. Uh, this is actually uh, this this is because one year we actually did a lot on this and so that's actually the, the this is how the uh, genome type are often written for strains. So those are the yeast strain, that's a serial number. It's a small letter HIS4, means a mutation uh, in HIS4 gene. And hyphen is a number. That number is a serial number of the mutation. So it's a mu this is a mutant 539 of HIS4 gene. And then you see a, a forward slash HIS4539. This means this is a diploid and it has a mutation, the same mutation on two copy of chromosomes. So this is a homozygous mutant of, at the hit four locus. And then same thing, now this, uh, this gene is CRY1, <coughs> that's all capital, that's a wild type. So this is a CRY, 
one while type and then there's a uh, all lower case C R one C R one C R Y one type fifty one that's a mutant. But this one is one that's it. we always uh, so easy to deploy. So the one copy the mutant, the other copy the wild type. So this one is the heterodigous. And this one is also heterodigous. That's also heterodigous. Uh, well, the second uh, row, that's another E strand. This time, we see here's 4, 5, 3, 9, and E2, CR, CRY1, LYS2. And why not the case? This is haploid. So this is not a deploy strand, this is a haploid strand. And the third strand is also a haploid strand. So in fact, if you look at the, this will be, uh, so each has two mating type, uh, A mating type and alpha mating type. The, the cell from opposite mating type can uh, cross and merge, become a one deploy cell. So in fact, the <coughs> top one is the product of the mating cross between the two bottom ones. So that's, you can actually double check the phenotype, a uh, genotype. His fall is from the language. AD2 is a heterodigous. Nice two is to heterodigous. Cry one, cry one is heterodigous. That's basically how, how the cross are generated. So, and uh, so the this question say, uh, describe your plan to identify a strand. Uh, when, when those even when those label had fall off. Uh, so I, I guess this is a small essay question. So. Uh, I guess we are not doing a particular strain. The you can use the histidine is a marker, lysine is a marker. I forgot what the CRY one is, but that can also be used a marker. So lysine, like so this this would be uh, this has to grow when histidine is there, lysine is there. But this one uh, can grow when I think it's not. Right, so, so this one, if we, if we use the minus my thing, we can tell this two, the first two from the last one. And then we can use a uh, minus prep, CRY, I forgot what that thing is. Uh, uh, then, oh, this one is always uh, uh, a mutant. So this is, this one, be easy to tell. And then the trouble is how do we tell the first one from second one? And then we look around the uh, uh, all the markers are heterodox, so the selection marker won't work here. The trick then is actually look for mutation rate. So these have a, 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 a gene conversion rate. So you can actually uh, that's because the the haploid haploid has much higher rate for me uh, to to have a spontaneous mutation because uh, in diploid those mutations are, are recessive, so in diploid those mut mutation will be complement by another one. When for spontaneous mutation occur, it's at a very low chance to occur at the same place. So when diploid when in a diploid cells. Uh, when spontaneous occur in one copy of the gene, often can be complemented by the other copy. So if you if we spread these two strands on the plate, you can also you can just count the irregular colony. This one should be much higher. The first one will be much lower. In fact, I, I remember that's exactly the lab is done to compare the mutation rate in the haploid and So this, I mean, I, I just put it there, but I since we are not doing this lab, so this. Certainly will not be covered this year. It's just a uh, one of the test back one. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, this, that's all my slides. And then the past year. Uh, uh, those are some past exams. Oh, that's the exam one part two. So, 
this is the growth curve. This is the exponential log growth curve. So, you know, given the following growth culture of bacteria, the two triangle indicate cell number at 15 and uh, 45 minutes. Calculate the number of cells <coughs> at 60 minutes. This, so this is basically uh, is it, it's very similar to standard curve. Uh, you can actually okay. So you can actually the just based on the number, you can uh, 15, 60 is public here. Uh, I already gave you the grid number, so that would be one times ten to the fifth. So a hundred thousand cells. So, uh, How many generations can this bacteria grow in 30 minutes? Uh, hmm. This is a bit of a uh, so I can work out this one as well. <laughs> wow, so we have the... Uh, this is a... Remember this is a, a log phase growth. So, uh, 100 cell, 1,000 cell. Uh, so first you need to work out the uh, a formula there. So, so the, the line is always y for a x times This is the line. In fact, this is time, so we can change this to time. And the line here is cell number. Except this is cell number take a log. It's a log phase. So this is log 10 cell number. That's a line. And so the, 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 the tricky part is really this log plus. Log 10 unit 1, log 10 unit 3. 2, 3, 4. Right? So that's the <coughs> formula. And, we, and then you basically try to solve this. Right? So how to solve the A and B. And then you will know how fast this is. Uh, cell grow and then come out of the generation. So, okay, so we know at the 15 minutes is 100. So, so log 10, 100 equals A times 15 plus B. That's one condition. And then we also know log uh, 10,000, log 10. 10 to the fourth power row equals A times 45. Did I say 45? 45, yes, right, 45 minutes. That's B. And, and then, can you work on, can all of you try to work on the paper, see whether you can solve the A and B? Log 100 is 2, log uh, uh, 10,000 is 4. <coughs> so, so basically we have A times 15 is B. So and we can call that number 1 or this number 2. So if I say 2 minus 1, and then I have 2 equals 38. Uh, that's everybody following me? No. Mm -mm. So I have you, this is my second line, this is my first line. If I use the second line minus the first line, this is what you can do. Uh, 4 minus 2 is 2, 45A minus uh, 15A is 38B will be cancelled out. Mm -hmm. right, so the A will be 1 out of 15. What does 115 mean? Right, so, well, you can also solve B. <coughs> B will be, well, you can just plug A back. So, A times 15 is 1, B should be 1. So, and then we, then we have a log 
10 cell number equal to 5 times 15 plus 1. That's basically how the cell number is going to run. And uh, how many, uh, what's the question? How many generations can this factory grow, including maintenance? Uh, so, how many generations? Uh, so, generation basically means cell in log is double. If you double that, every, every time bacteria grow is splitting into one to two, that's one generation. So, if it is 100 cells split to 200 cells, that's two, uh, one generation. Right, so, okay, so we including minutes, <coughs> so including minutes, maybe I can use the same color. So basically when uh, number of cells change from 0 minutes to 30 minutes, how much is this number of change? If this is changed to 2, right, so uh, of 10 something, Delta X will be equal to uh, let me let me write down so we have a maybe maybe I let me try to figure out the easy way to do it. Uh, I this one. Uh, maybe we should solve the cell number. So the cell number here basically Number of generation, so, so that's my initial time zero, that's my final, a thousand. How many generation is this? Two. So if it's one gener uh, one generation is two, uh, two gener uh, four uh, four generation to do two power. And G will be how many generations? And then the G will be 1,000 divided by 10, and then take log. That's, uh, I guess uh, the question is that I uh, always say uh, procedure. That's why I can give people partial credit for this. So there must be a formula in the slides. Uh, in the in the exponential growth slides. Uh, there, a, there should be a procedure formula of the generation. You can work it on your own and basically. Uh, okay, we went over this question before this question. And about the phylogeny again. So, so the key about phylogeny is it's not 
this side. You really should pay attention to the root, like the tree, right? Everything starts on the root. So uh, those are those are long branch next to the root. Uh, it can be out root. Uh, you basically use a reference point. So presumably, uh, the, the basic idea is that the tree is everything starts from the root and then uh, grow out of that. It's, uh, so in this case, the distance between the BTH and the EPU, how do I get this distance? BTH and BPU. It's, I have to count this line, plus this line, plus this line, a small line, small line, and then all the way to the. Since everything is lined up, this is a. I line up everything this way. So the distance between BTH is basically this. Right? The vertical one doesn't count. The distance is basically this. And the distance between here is also. They are all the same in, in this case. Like in fact, so in fact, the distance between BPU and BA and BTH, they are all the same. BWE. At, at, if, if the tree is all lined up, See, all, all the nodes are lined up here. So that so the, from this end to this end, they all have the same distance. Making sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You only count the horizontal line. Right? They have to travel from here to here now. That's the distance. Mm -hmm. And those vertical branches just for visualization. Oh. Yeah, so in this case, from here to every node, they, they all have the same distance. Yeah, so those are the species. A species cannot be in the middle. Everything in the middle cannot be a species that already exists. Every, everything we see the today must be some species derived from ancestral. And we, we cannot, yes. Yeah, we basically cannot have an a, a internal node which is the existing species. You see the point? Every species we see is, is a snapshot from today. It's not something in the past. So we so, cannot have species there. So if you were doing, like, for example, the, I guess the, I don't know, the, the units between um, the BWE species and the BPU species, you would say 100 because there's a 100 there. And then oh, that's that, that 100 is not distance. That's something called uh, to measure the reliable, how, how the branch pattern is. 100 not mean 100%. So, uh, sorry, I uh, didn't, uh, I don't think I can make it up but I will, if, if this causes confusion, I will explain it. Not 100 is not distant, that's the confidence of okay. how, how the branching pattern is, is re, how reliable that branching pattern is. And so, if we're comparing relation, then BTH and BAN are more closely related than BTH and BC. So, so this one, these two are more related than say this one and this one? Or that's correct. Okay. And you only can have two, can you have like, would it be possible for this to be one line and maybe all four of them on one line? Uh, can you put that on the order? Would it be possible to uh, It is possible. When that happens, it's called unresolved. Call it? Unresolved. Okay. Yeah, unresolved. It, it, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'll give you that kind of question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It actually happens quite a lot uh, in mm -hmm. practice. Dr. So, would you say like those who are more, they're more related because they're on the same bracket? Uh, <coughs> you have to look at the distance. The distance is the ultimate measure. So I'm saying these two yeah. are more related than these two, than that one? That's correct. Because they're on the same, like, this thing? They, they are on the same small branch. Okay. Yeah. But all of these are the same distance from 
That's part. That's correct. Okay. So you know what I was asking you earlier about like the what's now a virus? Yeah, yeah. So like if it's like this, would this be the origin, or would um, that? to be that become uh, basically uh, argue uh, become a, a, a little bit speculative. Do we know? Do we really know which one is already? We can't really know. For sure. So there are there are two in the, in this data in this tree. Uh, we know it happens happens somewhere here here here, but. Other than that, we, we, we don't have more information for that. So we just think, we just write what we think is best. Because so like, they tell us... Oh, wow, well, you, you should write the most logical one. Right? It's not just right. what you think is best. Because like, on the West on Virus, let's say like this one, it's like Egypt, and like, you know it started in Egypt, right? Okay. But then like, above here... So can you, why don't we draw the tree here, so I, I know what we are discussing. What? Would you draw the print here? I can just pull it up. I have it in my email. Uh, 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 oh, I show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even better. So you, you can. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, so if you want to do a practical run on, on the aseptical technique drinking single colony, you can also do that now. Uh, can we check out what's from last Yeah, you, you can also check your paper and ask and see <laughs> how you can improve it. <laughs> so I can even uh, ask your classmate to see whether that is the A A
Hey, the unruly Everyone. Yeah, we um. This is not this is not a path, geographical path. This is the speech yeah. uh, 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 so this will not be 100% consistent with you are see here is basically Mac most confused So basically, it traveled from. I mean, it's like from China to meet its way to this place, and then into the end. I guess I heard it's a nice So, until you talk to the immediate so the director, and then the office, and the short term, long will be like this. Okay, everyone, are you ready to submit your lab report? No. Which one? That one? This one? No. No? Uh, okay, you have to do Friday. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta do it Friday. Yeah, because we gotta we gotta study. Yeah. I forgot to put on the uh, submission link. Sorry about it. Uh, okay. Can you guys do it? I don't think I need to do it. Okay, so you can now start yeah, practicing it. your streaking on single colony. And I look at some of the play the streak. Uh, I would say, oh, see, this one is, who is this? Uh, Alana, yes. that's actually a, uh, this one is reasonably good. I would say it's probably A minus. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but, but this one will be fail, I see. This is just terrible, yeah, this is just terrible. What about this? That's failed. That's that's not even, that doesn't even what about have this? a break. Well, what's the good one? <laughs> Sorry. This one. I mean. What? No, this is the contaminated part. Why did that guy broke Yeah, but this is also contaminated. What about this one? Oh, the streaky. Uh, <laughs> this is too bad. This is so. We have about quarter of the playoffs. So this is only a good one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can you can compare this one to this one. Well, we do ours, so we do. This one had much more spread out, much less area. You also have two few here. For the practice? Just, just a few. Yeah. 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 This, this part, basically, the, this right part is too thin. All over. Yeah. And this one is like, 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 This one has a lot of bad symbols. I'm saying, what? This one has a lot of Great job. I know. I don't know. Because I know there's like a lot of experimental air. Could we do three different plates in the best out of three? Or is it two? Two plates? Oh, it's just one plate? Yeah, yeah. But what if we like on accident? You know, it's like experimental. Well, I already let you try it. Well, yeah. Many times, yeah. Is this good? No, that's not good. This is a good play. You have a lot of empty space with nothing there. So you have one, two, three, four, four good colony there. 
Yeah. So is that so the big one have a lot. Are good. So why a Wait, what is a good color? I will ask you to do it. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So I'm guessing mine is terrible. Oh, oh, this is good. It's this right, right, yeah. Like you should have a lot oh, of a large single for? colony. Oh, yeah. so how do you make lines? sure you do that? It's supposed to go from that. like streaks, oh, okay. streaks, streaks, to like dot, dot, dot. So since for here, uh, like this way, basically it wasted all those effort here. Right? So. This is too dense, this is still too dense. They should have spread it out more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, th so you know there will be billions of billions cells there, and then you streak a lot. Basically, there's no purpose to do that. So it. just put a little bit on there and streak it all across, right, and right, it should right, be good, yeah, yeah, is what yeah. you're telling me. That's right. All right, Dr. Chen, yeah. <laughs> when I come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And this one is also, I'm sorry. Is that good? It's terrible. Terrible, oh, terrible. Yeah, this is terrible. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So wait, show This it. one is basically yeah. terrible, terrible. So you want big circles. You want big, like, uh, those. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, like... This is actually probably beige, but if oh. I see a lot more... <laughs> but here, those are the empty plates. I, I want yeah. all those are covered. Yeah. Okay, so, so we a lot of these. if we put a little yeah. bit on it, like, want, so basically this yeah. is beige? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. A lot of those large single colonies. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So this was too much. Yeah, that's what yeah, it has to be. Yeah, he wants, like, the big circles. Uh, won't be great, it has to be retaken. Well, you awesome. just keep this one. Okay. Well, well, it's not like awesome, but like <laughs> awesome. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I see... Just Oh, no, that's a Rockefeller bacteria sample. Okay. If I see a contamination, yes. then it... You gotta do it again. You gotta do it again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do it again, it, it had to be 10... 10% less. You you are not going to get 100% when you try it again. Oh, this one's good. This one is good. This one is good. Yeah. Okay. This so one is good. I'll say probably A minus. So far, so far, that seems to be the best plate I see. What about this one? I will ask you to redo it. I would <laughs> even grade it. I'll let you try it again. <laughs> I don't know why it was so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see, I did three. What about this one? Oh, this one is good. That's good. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is probably... <laughs> it's probably... It is right now, it, this is... You, you still wasted a lot of place. This is... With yes, this, right. this is also yeah. not right because somehow when you're streaking, it becomes even more dense here. That means the somehow the loop is not planned properly. Yeah. So, so what was all I have two cells here? Right, you know this could be the, the, the dense cell is a lot when you're streaking, it should be that's good. You only do three times, one or two times is good enough. And then you try to spread them out as much as possible. Okay, so it shouldn't be like really big, like dense lines, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but even, but this one, I'll say at least a B plus. And this one is bad too. Yeah, yeah, this one. Is bad. I mean, there's honestly actually you you caught a lot of it. No, those are not considered single. But you can call the some very good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a B class thing. Yeah. But I need to get an A. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I see the A plus one? Uh, this one is this A plus. No, this one is terrible. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This one is terrible. <laughs> I just want to see what the A plus one looks like. Uh, so the know. A plus plate, I think I showed you. Uh, it's the plate on the textbook. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we have. Okay. Um, you mentioned something about like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, uh, you probably want to uh, take that back after the when I want to add one at a different time. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was, okay, that's cool. Yeah. I was uh, actually talking about some research. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yours is all of the presentation. Yeah. 
So that's, uh, is there more data than anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, for our research day presentation, mm -hmm. please come to me. The poster is due next Monday. And that means even if you don't sleep, uh, there's not much time left. So. <laughs> okay, uh, that's true, but. Uh, yeah. Yes, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you? Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to give you more data for input. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So, oh, so this is still 